Hi, I'm David with Best Rest Products, home of the cycle pump tire inflator that has a lifetime warranty. Today we're going to be installing a couple of Cyclops H7 LED bulbs in my 08 BMW R1200GS. The install practice is pretty much the same regardless of the year of the bike. This is the bike that we have to work on. So you may find some variations in uh, your bike if it's a 2014, 2015 and so on. At the beginning of the video you saw me riding down the street on my 1200 showing the stock high beam and low beam. Now there's a little fog in the background and as I flipped between high and low you could see a difference in the headlight but you could also see that uh, the bike was pretty much almost invisible even with the, the headlights running. Uh, these Cyclops LEDs are going to make a huge difference in daytime conspicuity and at night uh, it opens up the the darkness. You can see so much better using these bulbs. The Cyclops is a uh, product that's made in Seattle um, by Cyclops and what it has is a LED light emitting diode with a fan on the back. It blows air past the back of the assembly, keeps things nice and cool. It has a small driver assembly right here and then it has the prong which is the standard prong two-prong plug that you find in H7 style bulb system. This will plug into the BMW uh, wiring harness. It's CAN bus compatible. There's no issues with the electronics. Um, fitting it into the headlight takes a little bit of time. We're going to show that process. We found that it's easier to remove the entire headlight assembly than to try to do it on the bike. And people get scared when they hear removing the headlight. It's really not that difficult. We're going to show you that process. Basically what we're going to do is I'm going to take off the best rest headlight guard. I'm going to take off the windscreen because it makes it easier to get to things. We're going to remove the instrument cluster, which is held on by three quick release clips. Uh, remove the wiring connector, and then we're going to take the whole headlight out, set it on the table so that we can work in front of the camera and show you what the process is. So we'll close up on this and we'll get started on the process. So to get to the headlight assembly so we can install the bulbs, we have to remove uh, a few things from the bike. Uh, this bike has got a best rest headlight protector uh, that comes off pretty quickly and easily with some quick release pins. We then have to remove the windscreen. The windscreen is held with two adjusting screws on either side. I unscrew those, pull them out. I unscrew the two screws at the front, which are the pivot point, and the windscreen comes off. Now we're looking at the headlight assembly, we're looking at the instrument cluster. The instrument cluster has a wiring connector on the side with a couple of pinch clamps on the side. By pinching that, that releases it and allows you to pull the electrical connection off the back of the cluster. The cluster itself is held in place on in three points with some pins that come through a bushing and then some very small clasps that look like this. And we found that a pair of needle nose pliers you grab the back side of this clasp and then you can pull it off the end of the pin. Once that's done, then the instrument cluster will remove from the back of the headlight assembly. We've already removed those clasps. There's my instrument cluster. There's the three studs. There's that little clip that fits on. When we go to do the reinstall, we'll be putting this back in place. We also have to remove the two screws that hold the headlight assembly. There's one on each side. We've already loosened them. We pull those out, set them aside. And then finally, there's one other little connector down at the bottom that holds, uh, that connects to the headlights. It's a spring clip device by pressing this little spring clip it releases it so you can pull it straight off the back of the headlight assembly. That allows the entire headlight 
to come out. There is one final wiring connection and that is the driving light or parking light. The lamp fits into a small hole on the back of the headlight assembly and we have already removed the bulb because as we were doing this we discovered that that bulb was burned out so we'll uh, replace it before we put everything back together. So once again we take off any headlight covers, we take off the windscreen with two screws, a couple of big adjustable knobs, set that aside. We remove the three clips on the back of the instrument cluster and we remove the connector that plugs into the instrument cluster. We remove the connection that plugs into the headlight housing and we remove the small driving lamp assembly that allows us to take the entire headlight assembly and put it over on the workbench where we can do our work. So we'll set up again and we'll show you how this process is done. So here we are with the headlight assembly on the workbench. This small lens is the high beam, the large lens is the low beam. I'm going to do the high beam first. I'm going to turn this around and I'll be working on the high beam, the back side. To get to the stock headlight, we have to remove this cap. You twist it, quarter turn, it comes off. And here we're looking at the back of the stock H7 bulb. There's two connectors attached to that bulb. Simply pull them off, gently wiggling side to side. And now we're looking at the back of the stock H7 bulb. It's held in place with two pieces of wire called a wire bale. By pushing down and in towards the center, they unhook. This rotates out of the way and the bulb is ready to be pulled off. Note that there's a small fixing tab right there. That aligns the bulb properly so that it goes into the right position inside the housing. You can see it right there. By the way, when you're handling these, you don't want to touch the filament or the glass globe with your fingers because that'll cause a hot spot and the bulb will burn out. So now we have this open assembly and we have to put the Cyclops inside. We have to fit the Cyclops driver unit into the headlight housing. And the way that we found is if we stick it in in that fashion, just like that, it will fit just fine. Once we've done that, then we have to fit the ring that is around the Cyclops bulb. The way the bulb comes, it has a fixing ring that unscrews. This is how it comes out of the box. To remove this, simply press down and rotate a quarter turn counterclockwise. We're going to fit this driver in first, then we're going to fit the flange into the headlight housing and then we're going to rotate our wire bales around that flange and now that's in place. So we have our flange or our base fixed in place using the wire bales, the spring clip wire bales. We then make a connection with the headlight wires onto the two-prong connection of the Cyclops. Doesn't matter which wire you use, it works right or left, up or down. We've fitted our driver assembly into the housing in that fashion so that it's out of the way. We then tuck everything in very nice and tight so that the wires are tucked out of the way in that fashion. We then bring our bulb in and we're going to drop it into that hole. There's a couple of fixing tabs on the sides of the Cyclops headlight housing stock. There's a wide one and a narrow one. We'll figure out which ones those are. Push it down, give it a quarter turn. It's locked in place. And the final thing is just twist my wires around gently so that they're 
tucked down inside in this fashion. So I don't have anything sticking up. I've got all my wires pushed off to the side. I bring my cap, put it in place, find the fixing notch, give it a quarter turn, and it locks in place and the high beam install is complete. So now we're going to install the low beam Cyclops bulb. The low beam goes into the large reflector assembly. So we're going to turn this around. We'll be working on this side. To remove the stock headlight, it's a matter of pressing and unscrewing the protective cap. Now we're looking at the back of the connector and the bulb. Wiggle gently and take off the two-prong connector. Again, we see a pair of wire bales. The wire bales hold the stock headlight by simply pressing down and towards the center. That releases that spring clip which rotates up out of the way. We take a hold of the stock H7 bulb and remove it and set it aside. I'm going to turn this in this fashion so the headlight is basically upside down. We found this seems to work better. First thing I'll do is remove the flange or the base from the Cyclops housing. Just press it down, give it a quarter turn, it removes. The next thing I'll do is make a connection between the BMW connector and the Cyclops power connector. Now what I have to do <clears throat> is to get all the wires down inside the headlight assembly. And I have to do it in a way that it doesn't affect the rotation or movement of the reflectors inside the black housing. Uh, you adjust your headlight by using this funny looking screw assembly right here. By screwing it in or out that will adjust the bulb up or down. And this, this funny flip lever right here is a compensator to compensate for a heavy load on the bike. So let's say you're running without any load at all, you would typically have it in the up position. When you, uh, this is upside down, so right now I pushed it the other way. But uh, on the bike, you would flip it to the down position so it's perpendicular, and that brings the headlight into adjustment to compensate for the loads. But in any case, you can adjust this screw to make the whole headlight housing move inside. Um, you may find that you have to make this adjustment a little bit at a time so that you can fit the pieces inside, but in my, in my case, I already had it adjusted so that it worked just fine. But what I have to do now is I've got to get these parts fitted inside the headlight, and I found that by, by working in this area, which is closest to the instrument cluster, I could snake that connector inside. I could also fit the driver assembly up above in the same fashion. So everything is basically going to be sitting on top of the reflector housing. Uh, it would be towards the top of the bike. In this case we're upside down so it's at the bottom of what you're seeing on the screen. Once that's done, I have these pieces in place, <clears throat> I now have to fit the flange or the base of the bulb. I put that in place and I find my two fixing tabs. I get it aligned between those two little prongs. Move my wire bale down on either side. Pinch them and now my base is locked in place. One thing that we noted when we were doing this install is the placement of the driver in the, the uh, two-prong connector. It's important that you have these pushed far enough inside the housing so that they're not tight between the back of the reflector and the edge. So you really have to kind of stuff it in this way towards the high beam assembly. That allows room for the headlight reflector to be adjusted by your adjustment knob. If it's back against the, the back side of the rounded reflector, it's going to prevent that adjustment. So make sure that you get this down inside so that it's free 
and you've got some wiggle room on that uh, on that driver. And once that's done, then fitting the LED light in place in that fashion and using my screwdriver I can tell those pieces are loose they're not going to cause any adjustment issues then I make the connection with the rubber cap find my engagement points and screw that cap into place so the assembly of the headlight is complete. I now have a cyclops in both the high beam and the low beam. We're ready to reinstall this headlight housing back on the bike. We're ready to fire things up and take it for a test ride. Stick with us. We'll show you the completed process. We'll show you a test ride. You'll see the difference between what the stock headlights look like and what these cyclops high performance LED headlights look like. This is David with Best Rest Products, home of the cycle pump tire inflator that has a lifetime warranty. Thanks for watching this video showing the Cyclops LED lights on a BMW 1200 GS. We'll see you on the trail and ride safe.